Chloe Tilts there and I'm currently at my brother's girlfriend's house. Uh, I'm going to do my first video about basically a bit about mental health and like in this type of society a lot of people have been dealing with different mental health so like it could be good, it could be bad, some days it could be a mixture of both but like everybody has their own different like mindset and I guess in a way that we've, we're all the same but different like I mean I guess it can be t t t can be either how you've been brought up or how you just grew up or who you've been around or who you've mixed with in school it's just like but I guess how I get more happy it, like so that I wake up and I'm a bit feeling a bit shitty like I'll get dressed I'll do my makeup I'll do my hair I'll tidy my bedroom like, it's just ways like to occupy yourself you're more happy within yourself but if you live basically in a shit environment then you you just your mindset isn't clear enough yeah but it's just how how your mindset is and if you set a goal for yourself continue to do that goal like i used to when i was younger i used to want to be a nurse and then i then in school took stages up to being a nurse then i figured out that i wanted to work with children but still help other people just gotta work with it so my mental health problems I'm gonna not go straight into it but I'm just gonna skim the surface of it and explain but like I have a bit of anxiety I don't like getting on buses on my own on trains I'm past a group of people um, going into the town centre on my own so, but then I cope with it by doing things to then be like well that wasn't that bad so like push your boundaries even though inside you might be like basically crapping it and everything like that and things might be going through your head like you just got to push them boundaries like don't push them enough like a lot but push them enough for you to like feel on that day that you have succeeded in something have the fear of speaking it in right in front of people so but I kind of forget what to say so I remember in year 10 standing up in front of everyone and come across three things right what I kind of protest about and I stood there I messed up the entire of the thing and I walked out and I cried and then ever since that day it traumatised me like I, I literally cried um, but then after that I felt good about myself that I actually stood up stood up and said things even though I messed it messed it up a lot it wasn't that bad as what I thought it was not cross as what I wanted to say but kind of missed words out what I wrote down so I had to like change it quickly in my mind so I suffer with dyslexia um, and it's like a very bad bad dyslexia so sometimes I can't speak what I want to speak even though I know what I'm going to say um, I sp spell words what ain't even in the dictionary but to me it makes sense um, so I suffer from, like I suffer really bad late typing to people or um, like speaking to people like if it's my family or my friends then I'm alright with it but if it's new people then I get like a bit nervous and very anxious like i always fiddle with things when i have to speak to people who i don't know like but it does come across rude when like you're fiddling with things so sometimes if i'm in school i'll get a pen and i'll click the pen but it's the only way i, I, I can listen to you and if i if i don't listen to you without fiddling with something then i kind of like daydream and i go into the space of my own and then i won't know what you've said it's quite a few times I've got shouted at that for tapping on the desk, fiddling with something. But later on I've explained that that's the only reason I can actually take in things what you're talking to me about. Um, so they've like let me off with that and everything. But people do different things so like sometimes people play with the hearse uh, which I'm doing right now. Sometimes people tap the desk different things it just all depends
just know that you can always get help no matter what it is no matter if you're suicidal there's always a solution for everything don't don't think to yourself well there's not because there is i found my ways and that was to talk about my feelings to people who i thought like who are close with me like my brother and my brother's girlfriend um, and that's the way how i got over things um, and then they made me feel more confident because i spoke to them um, school they can help you or college if you're at college um, your mum your dad or your carers if you're with them i will see you in my next video thank you for watching please like and subscribe to my channel bye